This is awkward. We're all silent and looking at each other. Yeah, I agree. I agree. <laughs> How you doing, baby? Comedian Ralphie May was on island and recently performed four sold-out shows at the Sheraton Laguna Guam Resort and Spa. His last visit to the island was about three years ago. It feels great to be back in Guam and not having to go to court. You know, it's awesome. I, uh, last night, I brought my, uh, my son's dog with me, all right, because it was the only dog I wanted to pet through customs. It was a story that was heard around the world. May arriving on Guam back in 2010 was caught carrying marijuana through customs as he approached to pet the drug-sniffing dog. He admits it wasn't his finest hour and says he was an idiot, not realizing he had some in his bag. Luckily, all he had to do was pay a small fine because it was less than an ounce. Men and women of uh, the customs agency were busting my stones. You know, they were messing with me. They are like, hey, it's good to see you back, bro. Yeah, do we have to go get the dog? The dog's still asleep from last time he found something on you. The comedian, who has a medical marijuana card, said he was grateful for the nice custom agents who listened to his explanation of the mix-up. And speaking of explaining, once he went back to the mainland, he had to deal with the media. I did, I did. I had to find myself explaining myself to uh, uh, MSNBC, um, to uh, TMZ, to uh, Comedy Central. Um, a lot of people were like, what were you thinking? I go, I wasn't, I wasn't. You gotta understand, I was really tired. He happily says that he arrived on Guam incident free this time. And since his last visit to the island, May has been extremely busy. I've uh, recorded two more albums. I've got, um, uh, I just released a vintage album. I uh, got a new special for Showtime uh, called Ralphie May's Filthy Animals, and um, where I, I showcase a bunch of uh, new comedians. And uh, I do about two hours. Uh, it's about a two hour long special, which is rare. And um, let's see, what else? I've got a new barbecue sauce line coming out. Called, yeah, called Fat Baby Jesus Barbecue Sauce. All right, it's, 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 it's made of holy smoke and uh, it's uh, really good. It's just, it's just a very busy thing and I've been touring all over the place, you know. I've written probably three new hours of material, you know, besides the hour I wrote about coming to Guam. You know, I don't know if you've seen that on YouTube, but it was pretty funny. The smoke stories about, about the whole incident. I know every member of uh, Guam's Customs uh, had seen the show. May says that after a crazy touring schedule and dealing with some health issues, Guam was the perfect place to unwind and relax with his wife, comedian Lana Turner, who warmed up the crowd as the opening act, and their two children, April, June, and August. I felt that I deserved it, you know, to my family, to um, uh, a lot of people here in Guam, to have an incident-free, to have an incident-free, uh, you know, event, you know, have something. And just, I love this place, man. I love this place. I, I love the Chamorro people. Last time I came back, I fell in love with them. They're just the sweetest people I've ever been around. And it's just, it's a paradise. We brought my two babies here. We have a six and a four year old over here. And uh, we are ready to have a blast. He says that he is ecstatic to stay a few extra days because he wants to soak up everything the island has to offer, including all the great food. The hot ones, oh man, oh. I love it, but it's like, you know, I got dragon fire coming out of my mouth, man. I tell you, I love it. But you can, when I love it when people see my reaction to it, and they're like, oh, this is going to burn him good. This is going to good. And then he goes, oh, he's, he's kind of likes it. Like, oh, that's strange. And I'm like, yeah, I'm Southern. I like, I like hot food, you know. I like the pepper, stuff like that, but it's so good. And just like those who fall in love with Guam, he continues to educate others about the island joking that some don't even know that Guam is a U.S. territory. People say, you know, they ask me all the time, what country is Guam? Uh, and I go, well, it's, it's, it's a U.S. territory. You know that, right? And they're like, no, I had no idea. I'm like, oh my God, open a book. For more on Ralphie May, you can check out www.ralphiemay.com and like his page on Facebook for the latest updates on the larger-than-life comedian.